I'm here in Gardner where the price of housing is increasing and the provided teacher housing from the school may not be enough for the future. That's the first question everyone asked when we were moving to Gardner was how are you going to find somewhere to live. Cody Carlson and his wife Kiara live in teacher housing provided by the North Yellowstone Education Foundation and they say it was the best option for them when looking for a place to live. If that hadn't been an option I'm not really sure what we would have done. Probably would have been living with family. Their cost of living is significantly less in the teacher housing compared to if they were living somewhere else in Gardner. Our rent is 700 a month which is probably at least half of what a lot of long-term rentals would be in Gardner. Whatever X was in the original function, you put in X minus two. That the Carlsons are not the only teachers living in this provided housing. We have 17 teachers total on staff. We have three teachers currently living in teacher housing. These teachers do plan to buy a house in the future, but as of right now, it's just not feasible with their pay. As far as long term, I think, yeah, eventually you'd want to start looking for a house, but at this exact moment, that seems to be overwhelming because I just don't even know how on teacher salaries we could afford to buy a house. And Superintendent Mike Bayer understands the struggle with housing and salary for teachers, and he assures the school is looking for more ways to provide housing for staff. The school actually has a piece of property um, that we've had plans developed for putting multiple housing units on there. He also says the school has been lucky with staffing and providing livable spaces for teachers as of right now. The bottom half of the house is all constructed from local river rock and the top half of the building is actually stone that was left over from the construction of the Roosevelt Arch. Oh, we've been lucky. The park, I think, and the outdoor environment attracts people. So we're not in as rough a boat, I like to think, as several other communities. And the Carlsons express a lot of gratitude to the North Yellowstone Education Foundation. Thank you to Enya for, for the, the fact that they took this project on and just to help out people like us. In Gardner, Kristen Merkel, MTN News.